Dear healthcare professionals and students, welcome to Healthcare Engineering. I am Gaston Ravindias, a biomedical engineer from the Healthcare Engineering team. We are here to provide you with informative presentations to learn and improve your skills. We are going to share our knowledge and experiences what we gain from the industry. I strongly believe that all kind of healthcare professionals and students can learn a lot from our YouTube channel and the blog by knowing the trends in modern healthcare world. We bring you so many informative videos on different concepts based on the modern healthcare via our YouTube channel. So, I would like to welcome you all to subscribe our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the instant updates of a new informative video. Also, you can visit our blog www.learnbiomedengine.blogspot.com to learn more about the concepts we share in our videos. We can support you in your healthcare business. We can help you out in advertising your healthcare products. We can promote your healthcare events. We can provide technical reviews for your medical devices as well as many more online supports we provide to boost up your healthcare business. If you are interested to get supports from us, please contact us to the given mail ID. Also, you can follow us in these social media platforms shown in this screen. The links will be given in the description below. In today's video, we are going to talk about EMG, Electromyography. Electromyography is an electrodiagnostic machine technique for evaluating and recording the electric activity produced by skeletal muscles. EMG is performed using an instrument called an electromyograph to produce a record called an electromyogram. An electromyograph detects the electric potential generated by muscle cells when these cells are electrically or neurologically activated. The signals can be analyzed to detect medical abnormalities, activation level or recruitment order or to analyze the biomechanics of human or animal movement. The bioelectrical activity inside the muscle of a human body is detected with the help of EMG electrodes. Mainly, there are two types of electrodes. First one is surface electrode and the other one is inserted electrodes. Now let's talk about surface electrodes. These are provide a non-invasive technique for measurement and detection of EMG signal. The theory behind these electrodes is that they form a chemical equilibrium between the detecting surface and the skin of the body through electrolytic conduction so that the current can flow into the electrode. Surface electrodes have found in their use in motor behavior studies, neuromuscular recordings, sport medical evaluation. The types of surface electrodes can be included. First one is gelled EMG electrodes and the other one is dry EMG electrodes. We can divide further more into categories of surface electrodes. First one is active EMG electrode which contains a pre-amplifier attachment for surface electrode. Second one is passive EMG electrode. These are connected to an external amplification circuitry. Talk about inserted electrodes. Inserted electrodes have further two types, needle electrodes and fine wire electrodes. Needle electrodes are widely used in clinical procedures in neuromuscular evaluations. The tip of the needle electrode is bare and used as a detection surface. It contains an insulated wire in the cannula. Fine wire electrodes. Fine wire electrodes are made from any small diameter, highly non-oxidizing stiff wire with insulation. Wire electrodes are extremely fine. They are easily implanted and withdrawn from skeletal muscle and they are generally less painful than needle electrodes whose cannula remains inserted in the muscle throughout the duration of the entire test. 
Now let's think about the working principles of this. E First let's talk about the configurations. EMG signal is acquired through different amplification techniques. The differential amplifies should have high input impedance and a very low output impedance. Ideally, a differential amplifier has infinite input and zero output impedance. The placement of the EMG detecting surface can be done through three different categories. The placement of the EMG detecting surface can be done through three different configurations. First one is monopolar configuration, second one is bipolar configuration, third one is multipolar configuration. What is monopolar configuration? It is implemented using only a single electrode on the skin with respect to a reference electrode. Now let's think about the electrical design. First one is filtering. Once the electrode is properly placed and the signal is extracted, the noise plays a major role in hampering the recording of the EMG signal. For this purpose, the signal has to be properly filtered even after differential amplification. For this purpose, we use high pass, low pass and band pass filters. Amplification After the signal has been filtered properly and a suitable band of EMG frequency is obtained. The next stage is amplification. The amplification of the EMG signal can be easily carried out with the help of a non-inverting amplifier. Let's talk about the electrode placements. In most cases, two detecting surface electrodes are placed on the skin in bipolar configuration. The surface EMG electrodes should be placed between the motor unit and the tendinous insertion of the muscles to get the best possible signal. The signal from the EMG detecting surface is gathered with the respect to a reference. An EMG reference electrode acts as a ground for this signal. It should be placed far from the EMG detecting surface electrodes on an electrically. This is the concept we wanted to share with you guys today. If you are willing to learn more about this topic, please visit our blog www.learnbiomedengine.blogspot.com. You can also comment your ideas on the topics which you would like to learn in our future videos. So don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to receive our updates of the informative videos whatever we share with you in the YouTube channel. Also. To get our supports to promote your healthcare business, please contact us in the given mail ID. Follow us in these social media platforms which shows in the screen. The links will be given in the description below. Thank you.